Hallo, welcome to Springboot Tutorials. In this video, I want to show you a new feature in Springboot 3.4.0, Graceful Shutdown. First, I'll show you the information from Spring.io. See here, Graceful Shutdown. How you configure the timeout. And how you configure shutdown. Now you go to Eclipse and I prepared a project Spring Boot 3.4.0 Graceful Shutdown. The POM XML, you see the version 3.4.0, the dependency, starter web, starter test, and the Maven plugin. We go to Applications Properties. Here you see Server Shutdown. You have two possibilities. Immediate and Graceful. The second option is Spring Lifestyle Timeout per Session Phase. Here you can put the time. We put it here to 30 seconds. You see here also Spring treats virtual enabled, true, but that's for the next part of the video. And the main class, standard, and I created, created a home controller. We have home controller, we go to the fast and the slow version. The fast version is we sleep one second and we return Spring Boot tutorial fast. The slow version, we sleep 20 seconds. And we return Spring Boot tutorial slow. Go back to Applications property. You see now the shutdown is graceful. We start the project. See here, graceful shutdown. Start it. Look in the console. And we see it's started. We go to our browser, localhost, we refresh, and we see get data fast and get data slow. First, we try the fast, and we see immediately we have the return. Go back, slow. Now we need to wait 20 seconds. See, it's waiting, waiting. 20 seconds, wait a little bit, yes, I think it's almost there, yes, you see here Spring Boot tutorial slow. Put it beside, now we go for slow and we stop the application. And see what happens. Slow. We go here. We stop the application. Show you back. You see, still running. Running, running. We wait 20 seconds. It's a little time. See, it's running, running. And we have our answer. If we go now. To the console, you see graceful shutdown complete. But what happened if we, we change this? We remove graceful and immediate. We restart the application. Start it. Open the browser. Go back, press, and again we go for slow. We stop it and we go to a browser. Now we have an error. We go to the console. You see the 
application is directly shut down. Maybe we go back to and we show you the console. We run it again. Go to our browser. Press it. Slow. And we stop. And you see what happened. You see application shutdown request, but it's not yet shut down. See, waiting for active request to complete. If all the requests are complete, then the application is shut down. You see here, the red square is gone. The application is stopped. That's one thing for today. We remove all this. Now we do a little test with virtual threads. I have two projects. We start with the server, home XML, application properties, application, and the home controller. See, this one we can remove. Again, the version 3.4.0, Java 21, web, test, and the Maven plugin. Application properties. Only thing we have here is server port 8091. Application, simple, standard. And we have a home controller. What we do here, we have a logger. Here, first. The annotation REST controller, the logger, logger factory, and we have one get mapping block and seconds as a path variable. We sleep for seconds time thousand. So if we put here example five, that's five thousand is five seconds. And then we log it sleep for this time seconds. We start the server. You see here, the server started. Sorry, I need to clean. Run it as it clean. And run it as Maven install. Wait to complete it. Yes, it's okay. Now we can run it. Run as Spring Boot app. Still an error. Try this one. Don't understand. Me. This one not gone. Need to update the project. Update all. Forty, fifty percent. Yes, that's okay. Server can clean. Install. Yes, it's okay. Now I hope we can run it. Okay, now we're back in business. So the server is running. Now we remove all that and we look to the main class. Open it. So the POM, application properties, application, and the home controller. Start. Short, see 3.4.0, Java 21, starter web, starter test, and the Maven plugin. Application properties, 
here server port 8090 and the server tomcat threads max is 10 that's only if virtual enabled is false if virtual enabled is true this one has no has no use so we start with virtual threads enabled false application is normal main application the home controller here we have rest controller we have a logger logger factory we define rest client and bring it in with dependency constructor and build it build base url localhost 1890 so that's the server and build it then we have one mapping get data slow and the seconds you see that in a minute and we retrieve the data from this server with block and seconds retrieve it and do bodyless entity so the body we remove we log it the status and the thread current thread and we return it again i think it's best to clean it install it A little bit almost there yes and oh, we can run it now run as spring boot up see everything is working fine so the two projects are running now we open windows powershell and i have here a little application show you the info this one apache http server benchmark tool so what we do we run the benchmark tool we have 20 sets um, requests after each other and 60 rounds from localhost port 8090 get data slow and two, that's the seconds we use. And we run it. Wait a little bit, little bit. Be patient, she tells us. You see in the background, we have the logging. You see it here in the Eclipse. You see it's done. What's important here is 14.431 seconds to finish this one we go back to eclipse up application property and reset spring threads virtual enabled to true and that's in the main class and we restart virtual threads main see it here click on it the main is starting now we go again to our windows power cell and we rerun the same command 6020 see it here 6020 6020 localhost 8090 get data slow slash two two seconds and we run it again she tells us to be patient. You see in the background, we have in the console, and you see it's much quicker 8.2.92. And before we have one for 14 seconds and eight seconds. This was it for this live video. I hope. You liked it don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up thank you very much and see you later